Hello folks, a few months ago Apple brought a revolutionary feature with the iPhone 14 series. The new devices can connect to low Earth orbit satellites for emergency communication. Now, it looks like Samsung is set to bring a similar feature to its upcoming high-end smartphones in the Galaxy S23 series. According to a new report from 18 News, Samsung is working with the Iridium Communications to bring some sort of satellite communication system to the Galaxy S23. Iridium provides voice calling and data communication services through 66 low-orbit satellites, and Samsung has reportedly been working with the company for two years to bring the feature to smartphones. In comparison, Apple is working with GlobalStar to bring satellite connectivity to the iPhone 14, while Huawei is using Beidou satellites to bring similar features to the Mate 50 Pro series. The report claims that Samsung is working on printing text messaging and low-resolution image sharing to the Galaxy S23 through satellite communications. Due to the nature of satellite connectivity, devices need a large antenna for voice calling and high-speed data transfer, so those features won't come to smartphones anytime soon. A simple use case would be people who like to go deep into the woods or someone stuck on an island or anywhere with no reception or any similar situation. This feature could prove to be a new lease of life for them. If the South Korean firm manages to bring satellite connectivity with the Galaxy S23, it can proudly stand among the few brands that have the feature in their smartphones. Now we can communicate through the Galaxy? Makes sense. However, it remains to be seen how widely the feature would be made available. Apple currently has the emergency communication feature enabled only in Canada and the US. Unlike global star for Apple that only cover the Earth partly, Iridium is a constellation of satellites all over the planet, so hopefully they'll take advantage of that to make it global. The Galaxy S10 was the first Samsung phone with an under-display ultrasonic fingerprint reader. However, its performance wasn't very reliable. The company brought Qualcomm's second-generation ultrasonic fingerprint to the Galaxy S21. Now, it looks like Samsung's next-generation high-end smartphone will get an even better fingerprint reader. According to some rumors, the Galaxy S23 will feature Qualcomm's third-generation ultrasonic fingerprint reader. However, we're unsure whether it's the same 3D Sonic sensor Qualcomm debuted earlier this year or a completely different fingerprint scanner. If it's the 3D Sonic Max, we are in for a treat, as it is the world's biggest and most advanced fingerprint reader. The Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max has a surface area of 20 by 30 mm, which is almost 10x the size of the 3D Sonic Gen 2 8 by 8 mm scanner used in the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It has 5 times better accuracy than the 3D Sonic Gen 2 and can accommodate two fingers simultaneously for higher security. It even supports one-tap fingerprint registration, which reduces the process of registering fingerprints drastically. However, well-known Lika Ice Universe earlier posted a photo of the S23 Ultra protective glass with the same area of the fingerprint sensor as the S22 Ultra. So, there is contradictory information. I'm sure the rumor about the new fingerprint might not be true. But screen protector manufacturers don't always have a 100 100% track record, so as always, time will tell. Some other improvements that Samsung is rumored to bring with the Galaxy S23 series are Super AMOLED display with 2200 nits peak brightness, a 200 megapixels ISOS LHP2 camera sensor, S23 Ultra only, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor globally, LPDDR5X RAM, and UFS 4.0 storage. The first renders depicting the upcoming Galaxy A34 have emerged, and unsurprisingly, the phone seems to use similar design cues as the Galaxy A54. In other words, it has a frame reminiscent of the Galaxy S22, a flat back panel and display, and three rear-facing cameras, each with its own circular cutout. Through this design language, Samsung is adding a bit of 2022 flagship flavor to its 2023 mid-range phones. Nevertheless, the Galaxy A34 still is unmistakably low budget, especially when looking at the device from the front. It has an Infinity U display notch for the selfie camera and a thicker lower bezel. Similar to the Galaxy A54 renders, these are also fan-made and supposedly based on real dimensions, which means that many details might not be entirely accurate. Speaking of dimensions, the AMOLED display should measure 6.5 inches and the device reportedly has a USB-C port as well as 3.5mm headphone port. As you probably noticed by now, the Galaxy A34 has 
three rear-facing cameras rather than four. We heard about Samsung possibly removing depth cameras from some of its 2023 mid-range phones, and the closer we get to the end of the year, the more it seems like this is indeed the case. Although official release details are missing, Samsung is expected to announce the Galaxy A34 next year. If the company continues following a 12-month launch schedule, the Galaxy A34 might get unveiled in March alongside its slightly more expensive sibling, the Galaxy A54. Like this year's models, the upcoming A34 might use the same type of chipset as the Galaxy A54. The latter is expected to boast a new Exynos 1380 chipset. Guys, thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one, good luck to all!